Hi everybody, Jackie here with a Shein Winter Haul. I have been holding on to this stuff um, because I've had a lot of thrifting content I wanted to put out there, but today is the day we are doing the Shein Haul. So these items were things that caught my eye and with Shein, it's like when they first came out, it was like, oh my gosh, $10 swimsuits. And I bought a bunch of them and then it'd be like one fit and the quality just wasn't there. But over the years, it's gotten so much better and the things that they're selling, even though the price is a little bit higher than when they started, the price per wear, the quality makes it totally doable now, in my personal opinion. So I'm gonna show you the items that I purchased through Shein and I'll kind of talk about the quality of them, and then I will be sure to pop the price up on the screen for you to see. The first item, which is one of my absolute favorites, is this Sherpa style heart jacket. And I just did a Shein Valentine's haul, which this like totally fits in with that haul. But this one is fabulous. It's really thick. The material is nice and cozy. It's got this soft lining in here and you can tell that it's like a thick, durable fabric. I have washed it and it came out great. It didn't get all crazy. So let's throw this one on so you can see the fit of it because it is a bit oversized. This jacket is just <laughs> truly the cutest, sweetest jacket. It's got this nice thick zipper the only thing that I foresee potentially being an issue with this jacket is that with the zipper, there isn't anything protecting on the sides. So once this starts to loosen up a bit, I could see the Sherpa part getting caught in the zipper. But again, like I said, I got this in a medium and it is an oversized fit. So super cute, super cozy, definitely oversized, and just like the most fun. Like, be this cute at the grocery store, you know? The next item is also a jacket. So we have this cropped sage puffer. And this jacket is so great. I got it in a US size six, which is their medium. And it's really thick, really warm. It is cropped, so if you wear it as a true crop, you do have a little bit of tummy showing, so your tummy gets a little bit cold. But it was rainproof. I wore it in the rain, and the rain just rolled right off of it. It didn't soak in, it didn't make it cold. Um, so I'm absolutely in love with this jacket. Let's go ahead and pop this on so you can see. Like I mentioned, I do I have worn this a lot because I was so obsessed with it. I couldn't put it on my hanging rack for filming because I just had to wear it. It is so fun. The length is perfect. So I have a pair of my true high rise jeans from Urban Outfitters. And so when you zip it and it's all buttoned together, it does meet right at the waist of my high waisted pants and it does zip all the way up to the top. So it's like this huge, keep my face warm. It's also a mask moment, but it's so fun. Like I said, the rain rolled right off of it. The only thing that's a little bit tricky for me is I'm 5'8", so my wingspan is also 5'8". And as you can see, when I stand like this, it hits both of my wrists. But when I bring my hands down, it does lift a bit off of my wrists. So, the arms aren't super long on it, but because it's cropped, I'm not super concerned about that. Um, but super cute, I totally recommend this jacket. There is quite a bit of jackets in this haul because it is a winter haul. So this is my Cruella jacket. Um, again, I got it in a US size six, which is their medium and the fit is great. Um, I will pop up. I did this for my one of my Christmas like what to wear on Christmas reels that I did. So I'll be sure to pop that up on the screen so you can see um, how I wore this jacket for Christmas time. 
but I love it. It's nice and long. This one is one of the, and you can see it in the lining, it is one of the ones that's a little bit thin. So this one is definitely less quality than the last two. But with that being said, it's such a like specialty fun item that it's not something you're going to get wear out of every single day. At least for me, I'm not. And so I don't mind that it's a lighter wear. I don't mind that it's not the highest quality item because it is kind of a specialty piece. So let's go ahead and put it on. We are living for our true Cruella de Vil moment in this jacket. I mean, it's just the cutest. Okay, so here's the true full moment. It comes all the way down past my knees, so it's like a midi length um, jacket. It's got sleeves that are nice and long enough. It's not hugely thick, so it's not gonna be your warmest moment, but it's certainly gonna be one of your cutest, most fun moments for sure. My last jacket of the bunch. It's actually funny because I saw this on a Zola ad the other day. The girl that like got proposed to is wearing this, so I thought that was pretty cute. Um, it's again a cropped jacket and it just has a quilted look on the front with the Sherpa sleeves on the side and it's got all the different color blocking which is so fabulous. I got this in a medium and this one is quite cropped. Again, it'll make your tummy cold, but it's super cute, really fun. Um, I have worn this out for a day of shopping and I got lots of compliments on it. So let's put it on and check out the fit. This crop jacket is just too fun with the color blocking. Like it's so stinking cutesy. It's the perfect size. It's true to size in that I'm a medium and I ordered a medium and it comes right to that high waisted mark on my jeans with like the cute little whoop because it rounds down, which I think is fun and playful. Um, the colors are just vibrant and so beautiful. It's nice and cozy. So if you're wanting to keep yourself warm, this will do the trick. I wouldn't recommend like snowshoeing in it or something like that. Um, going for like a wintry hike because that might not be the ticket, but for being cute, walking around town, getting your errands done, this is definitely a recommendation from me. I'm so excited about all of these tops. This one is by far my favorite. It's a long sleeve crop top with three little buttons up the front, and then it's got a button turtleneck. So this one is super soft, super fuzzy. Um, when I bring it up close, you can kind of see it has that hairy texture. So super fun, super cozy. I got this in a size six and it's kind of that oversized fit where it's not super snug, but it just kind of flows off you nicely. And I absolutely love this one with a high-waisted pair of jeans. And let's throw it on and see how to style it. Okay, so here is by far one of my favorite tops. I have my little tank under here but it's not see-through at all like I said it's not super fitted so it just kind of hangs off of the bod it's that nice little furry texture the turtleneck comes up nice and high so it keeps you warm plus a little peep show action which is so much fun um, the sleeves are long and they do <laughs> my favorite thing in the whole world they billow down at the end so they're billowy, billowy when they're long and then if you were to scrunch it up, it just billows even more. So cute, so fun. Um, love the length, it's not too short for a crop, which was great. I definitely think that if you are in the market for something like this, hop on to Shein and get this one because it's so flipping cute. This next top, this style has been trending for quite a while. Um, I hope that it lives on because obviously I can't wear this in the winter right now, but I had to get it because it popped up in the, don't miss this. And I was like, oh, you're right, I shouldn't miss that. So it's not summer right now, but I am taking a trip to Mexico, so I'm gonna bring this with me. I got it in a size medium. And if you can't tell, some of the panels, like the red and then on the back, the yellow is a t-shirt material. 
but the blue panel, the light purple, and then the light purple in the back, those are all mesh panels. So it's got the fun, different sized, kind of sewn together pieces with the threads hanging off the end, which I think is super cute. I just saw a pair of jeans that had something like this going on the other day and I was really excited about them. Um, but let's throw this on so you can see the fit. So she tempted me with a good time. I was checking out and they were like, listen, we know what you're gonna like. And it's gonna be this top. And they were right. <laughs> In the middle of my winter haul, I got a tank top. But totally worth it. I think it's so stinking cute. I love that the center panel is actually like a full t-shirt material um, because then it makes the mesh less revealing. Um, definitely more my style having like a moment of modesty but still being playful. On the back, it's got the purple on one side, the yellow on the other, and just so fun. Like so stinking cute, so fun. Love the hanging threads. <laughs> so cute. When I ordered this top, I thought that it was going to be mesh, but it actually isn't. It's a really, really soft t-shirt material. Again, I got it in a medium and this is a more fitted look. Um, it's got this great marbling and the blue, yellow, and orange coloring, which I love. And it's got this nice like lettuce trim on the top and on the little sleeveys. Oh, and on the bottom, I didn't even realize that. It has it on the bottom there too. Um, but super soft, very cozy. Um, I will throw it on so you can see the fit of this size medium. Okay, so for this lettuce trimmed marble top, it's super cute. I like that the neck just kind of like disappears, like that neckline I think is super flattering. The sleeves are plenty long, which I love. The back is the same as the front, super cute. The one thing that I am noticing is that the arms are pretty snug, but it's stretchy. So like I can pull them up a little bit and really tuck them under my armpit, which is where I like it to be. And it still is comfortable. Um, but that is the one thing, the arms are a little bit tight. So that is one thing to think about if you're a gal that's got thicker arms or you work out a lot, um, your size might feel a little bit tight, but it does stretch, so it's not uncomfortable. It's just um, something that I'm noticing now that I have it on, but super cute, super fun. Again, great with the waist area. It doesn't cut off right at the bottom of my bra. It gives me some room so that it's a cute manageable crop top and it's great i think i'll get some good use out of it now they're saying in 2022 that wearing lingerie on the outside is in which for me isn't like i'm i'm not about like showing my bra or anything like that um i'm not really about wearing body suits either um unless it's like a full fabric bodysuit but not like a teddy style bodysuit um, but there is one thing that I've gotten really into over the last like eight months. So I was excited to hear that lingerie as outerwear is coming in because I've bought quite a few of these underbust little corsets, um, to wear over top of like a, either a bodysuit or a dress that's plain in color. Um, so it's got the wired top with the beautiful flowers and then the back has three different straps that kind of strap it all in together. Um, super, super cute. I got this in a medium and it does fit well. So I will toss this on so you can see how it looks. Okay, so this isn't necessarily what I would wear this piece with, but I am just obsessed. Like I love that it's clear so you can see all of the flowers like they're just laid on to this tank i would probably wear this more so with like a bodysuit that's like full length so that it's like more coverage and more contrast but for sake of the video this sure works um i'll come up close so you can see it the wire is wired see so it's kind of poking in but you want it to look like that so that it looks like it's part of the outfit versus just 
sitting on top. It's got this beautiful floral detail. I mean, I'm just shocked at how the quality of this is. Like the ribbed pieces here and the underwire is very sturdy. The clasps are just little clasps. I'll come up close so you can see. They're just little clasps. So um, nothing too crazy and they adjust so you can make them wider, bring them back in really tight. Totally up to your personal preference. Um, but I'm seriously so obsessed. The last item is actually a pair of pants. Now, if you've watched my other videos, you've probably noticed that I'm a little bit picky about pants. I have thick thighs, skinny ankles, and then my waist tapers in a bit. So I have a difficult time finding the like waist to booty to thigh ratio that I need. Um, but with pants being a little bit looser fit, I've had a little bit of an easier time with that trend. So I did end up getting a pair of pants from Shein and they're these black denim long loose leg with a little surprise in the front. <laughs> I just thought these were so much fun. Like, why not, you know? So this great upside down flame detail um, on a loose, dark denim. And I love it. I mean, they're pretty much high-waisted. On me, they probably won't be totally high-waisted because I've got this like extremely high belly button, but that's normal for me. Um, so let's try these on and see how they fit. Okay, last but certainly not least. Oh my gosh, look at these flame jeans. Now, <laughs> it's not a true high waist, which most things are not on me. So I am okay with that. I think that if you have a normally placed belly button, these would be high waisted because see, they want to be, <laughs> they want to be all the way up there, but there is a little bit of space, which I do like when I have baggy jeans like this. Um, I don't want them to be too snug up top. So I did order these in a medium. I'm like right in between a six and an eight. Some brands I wear a 27, which can also be considered a four, but my thighs, hip, waist is typically a six, bouncing up and down from a four to an eight. So kind of all over the board, but um, the medium fits great for me. It's not too snug on the boot. And then I'll move it down so that you guys can see it comes down almost to the floor. So with shoes, these will be floods a bit, but for this loose denim, I'm not super concerned about that. Like I don't need it to hit the floor for me to feel comfortable. But yeah, just a good fit. So I'm excited to wear these out. That's so fun, yeah. Okay, you guys, that is it. Thank you for joining me on my Shein winter haul. Let me know down below what your favorite item was or if you know of any Shein items I should buy. If you link items in the comments below, I will get them and try them and kind of tell you about the quality, tell you if it's worth purchasing, tell you about the sizing because I know that that can kind of be all over the place. Um, but if you're new here, I would really love for you to subscribe and hit the notifications button so that you know when I upload new videos. Lately, it's been about two a week. This week, I'm hitting three. I just, I'm really loving doing this and getting the opportunity to talk about fashion, talk about brands. Um, it's something I've wanted to do for a long time. And I know that this is kind of a long haul investment situation. So if you're still with me and have been with me from the beginning, thank you. If you're new, please go check out my other videos. I would love to chat with you down below. Leave me a comment, say hi. Be sure to follow my personal Instagram at Jack underscore Laray. That's all my personal content, my day to day. And then my YouTubing and artwork account is at artworks underscore by Jackie. So I do a lot of thrift haul posts and different videos and reels on there. 
Um, you can also follow me on TikTok at Artworks by Jackie as well. Um, be sure to check out Depop as well. I have a Depop closet where I post all of the clothes that I'm looking to get rid of, but still have a lot of like nice life left in them. Um, so instead of donating the nicer items, I will sell them then on Depop. So if you're someone who's a medium range from a six to eight in pants, um, go check out my closet. I have lots of fun things up there. But thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a super duper fabulous day. And again, just reach out, say hello, because I want to get to know each and every one of you and let me know what you think I should do next in my videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.